and it's still a tro uh, tropical, strong tropical storm uh, because it's got winds of 70 miles an hour just below hurricane strength. Yeah, this thing again for us, it's still ongoing in terms of the threat of some rainfall. Tides, not so much. It doesn't look like it'll be a big thing. And winds don't look like they'll be huge. And with that rainfall, there's an isolated tornado possible. You can see these rains spearing on in uh, from offshore and some of these uh, rapidly moving showers. And they could produce some tor torrential downpours uh, into our area, but they could also produce a quick tornado. Usually it's an EF0 that takes out a tree and then moves on. It just Whoop, and gone. Uh, they're very, very quick. Here's what's going on with the storm. This is over 12 hours. And you can see it making landfall, the Wrightsville Beach, Wilmington area, and now it's moving slowly, slowly westward at only about three miles an hour. Here's where we are in relation to the storm. Again, moving westward at three miles an hour. It's barely under uh, hurricane strength, and it will weaken only slowly as it stays very close to the coastline. Here's where things are by later on tonight 60 mile an hour winds moving to the west southwest by that point. Uh, move on through time. Now remember, this is 12 hours, 24 hours, so it doesn't move much. Uh, hasn't covered much real estate in that time by tomorrow afternoon, uh, 45 mile an hour winds. There's where things are by Sunday morning early, 30 mile an hour winds, so 12, 24, 36 hours, and then it's finally going to make some more forward progress, a little bit more by 2 o'clock on Sunday afternoon. 30 mile an hour winds, 25 mile an hour winds Monday, and there's where it is by Tuesday. Now, it could drag some rainfall through our area still on Monday and Tuesday, but then I think by Wednesday it's going to be long gone and we'll see things dry on out. Look at where this started. I'm, I'm out here uh, over Africa, and you can see that's where it started right on through there. And this is where the big storms are located. This was very far north. Uh, very unusual for this thing to hit the U U.S. mainland. Usually when they're that far north, they veer on off to sea, but this one did not, obviously, uh, and it's historic in that regard. And it's likely to be historic uh, in terms of what it does for the Wilmington area, southeast North Carolina. Here's what's going on with the rainfall for our area in the last six hours. And you can see still some rainfall going on even into the uh, eastern shore, middle peninsula, on up toward the Rappahannock River, hit or miss showers over the peninsula in Williamsburg area. And these are real rapid rapidly moving. You can see them moving through the, uh, the Franklin area and into Suffolk and heading west northwestward around the rotation of this storm. You can also see some bands on toward Ahoski, uh, farther southeastward toward Hertford and farther uh, toward the Edenton area. Any one of these could indeed produce a stray tornado, usually an EF0 tornado that drops down, takes out a tree, and then boom, gone uh, within an instant. But the storm itself, well on off to our south. I want to show you what's going on in the localized version, short-term version of future track. It's got some of this rain co uh, collecting right on up through here during the later evening hours. We'll have to watch out for that. This is just updating. Uh, and you can see again right on into 9 o'clock in the evening, some pockets of heavy rain are indeed possible. And the other forecast models are agreeing with that on a localized basis. So we'll want to watch that carefully. Tides, eh. Yeah, nuisance tidal flooding, minor tidal flooding. If you live on a flood prone street, watch out for that. But otherwise, I think we're going to be fine. Now, to give you an idea of what's going on by tomorrow morning, it's to the northwest of Myrtle Beach. There's where things are coming up on this uh, GFS, the American Forecast Model. It's done pretty well with us here in the past couple of days. South of Florence, it moves on up towards uh, northwest of Columbia, South Carolina. But these yellow areas indicating rain could be heavy, heavy downpours for us. Uh, some scattered rain coming up on Monday. As we have Monday morning on into Monday evening and even into Tuesday as that thing finally moves on off toward New England and the Canadian Maritime provinces. We could still see some rainfall, but then we're going to be done with it. Between now and Tuesday, we could see one to three inches of rain possible. However, even tonight, some of those little areas that I showed you on the uh, short-term version of Future Track, they could contain some brief, very, very heavy downpours, so we'll need to watch out for that. Temperatures right around 80 degrees. It feels very tropical tropical out there uh, with the uh, wind that we've got, which is not going to be a real, real big problem. It's still going to be rather breezy throughout the evening hours and the nighttime hours, but it's gradually dropping on down and we will continue to do so. Now we're going to end up with the remnants of Florence, certainly for the day tonight and tomorrow. Uh, good chance of rain, good chance of rain on Sunday as well. You'll see some sunshine in between and then Monday and Tuesday looking better, but I think we'll still see some scattered showers even at the end of the day on Tuesday.